You're looking for the slug. You got the slug right. tonight as we welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance, along with Ruben Amaro Jr. And in a moment, John Crook. I'm Michael Barkan. Let's see. Brandon Marsh, Bryson Stott, Alec Bohm, all with home runs. My goodness, Ruben. But let's start it off with the Ranger and how he's lowered his ERA to over two. It was over four when he came in tonight. What a performance. A couple of pr uh, pr predictions about uh, Ranger Suarez, whether or not he was going to end up being a, a possible Cy Young Award uh, candidate. He has pitched extraordinarily well. The fact that he is throwing and pounding the strike zone consistently. He's not walking a lot of guys. Had two walks today, but eight punch outs. He sort of ran out of pitches there, 97 pitches. But he pitched extraordinarily well. Well, he mixed up his pitches as well as I've seen him uh, in a long, long time. You, you break down all the all the pitches that he made. He went to his four seam fastball as opposed to his sinker, uh, and the sinker's been the real good pitch for him. But he's utilizing that fastball and he's setting up his other pitches uh, beautifully. I love the way he pitches, and he was outstanding. It was a perfect win tonight. I mean, this is perfect baseball as far as I'm concerned. Good defense, great pitching, and a couple of bombs. It was really fun. And the fans loved it. Six innings pitched, six innings of shutout baseball for Rangers Suarez. Let's go across the street, check in with John Cross. Call tonight's game with Tom McCarthy. John, you were talking to Brandon Marsh. This was really an exciting game. I know from the booth you probably saw how into it the fans were, which, which we told the story on NBC Sports Philadelphia. But boom, Stott, uh, and uh, as well Marsh. My goodness, there's the slug, right? Yeah, I think they can uh, maybe put that to rest now and just let the boys go out and play like they're capable of playing. But, yeah, that, it, uh, Ruben was right. This was about as complete game as we've seen the Phillies play this year. Um, you know, the defense, Alec Bohm made some great plays. Um, Bryce Harper made a great play to keep O'Neill Cruz off the base. But, uh, you know, the, the, the way these young kids perform tonight, the daycare guys that, you know, the the three home runs that they hit. And, uh, you know, it, it was just fun to watch up here in the booth because it, it just it, it, it was comfortable. Like like you always get nervous, even if the Phillies have a lead, you still get nervous. Like, come on, finish this thing. And but I, there was like no nerves today because Ranger was so dominant. Uh, Junior Marte was dominant. Uh, Nick Nelson, you know, he gave up a run there in the ninth inning, but he was really good, too, in the eighth inning. So he could go back out for the ninth inning and save the bullpen for tomorrow if needed. Uh, it was a great win, and, and uh, you know, this is what we expected from the Phillies, uh, you know, the power and all that, and it, and it showed up today. John, is, Ra is Ranger one of the best left-handed pitch starters in baseball for you? Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I wish I could have played, had the same heartbeat as Ranger. I mean, I watch him play, and I get just jealous <laughs> that it doesn't matter. Like, you know, a, a close pitch doesn't go his way. That ain't no big deal. You know, like, I, I would be, like, you know, saying bad words to everyone <laughs> around me. He just doesn't seem to, it, nothing seems to bother him. And, you know, when you can, and, Ruben, you know, if you can slow up your heartbeat, like like Ranger does, um, you know, it, it, it has to do nothing but, uh, you know, make you better. And like I said, I wish I could have played like that. But, yeah, you know, I, I you know, I, I, Larry Bow, I hope he's not listening, but he was my manager and he wouldn't have allowed me to be that relaxed. So. Thank God we have Ranger. You That's played a I little like that, John. Come on. You played. You, you're pretty relaxed, John. You were pretty relaxed. Uh, I wish I was as relaxed as you were. <laughs> hey, outside. Inside, man, it was Turning. brutal. Hey, uh, it was brutal. Were you surprised at all that he brought Junior Marte into that situation? Um, you know, he, he was, it was, it was a four run game. It wasn't really put away yet. Were you surprised that he came in there? Because Rob Thompson will do that from time to time, especially when a guy, he feels confident about a guy. Yeah, I think Rob went with the gut, and uh, the gut said Junior Marte, and, and, you know, the gut was right. And, you know, who am I to argue with a gut? But, um, you know, I, when I saw him warming up, I thought, all right, if Ranger gets in trouble, he'll come in and finish this inning. And But, you know, after Ranger finished off the sixth inning, and, and you know, look, Marte's been pitching good, and if he throws strikes, his stuff is fantastic. Uh, you know, the problem is, can he throw – consistently in the strike zone 
And I think Rob just said, you know what, I'm going to run with him and, and see what happens, you know. And, and uh, Junior Marte rewarded him, uh, you know, by, by pitching a scoreless seventh inning. John, we talked about all the good stuff in this exciting 5-1 Phillies win. We have to talk about Bryce Harper. And, and I give you April 2nd when he was 3 for 4 against Cincinnati with three home runs and six runs batted in. And we thought Bryce Harper is the man. He's going to be the man. But unfortunately, he's struggling to the tune of 0 for 4 tonight and a 196 batting average. But here's the thing. The other 11 games, aside from the one I just mentioned, 6 for 42, zero home runs, an RBI, and the 6 for 42 is a 143 batting average. This is not criticism. This is concern. I'm wondering if you have any thought as to what might be going on. Uh, it, might he be dealing with an injury? What are you seeing? Uh, I Look, if Bryce Harper, if I worry about Bryce Harper, about him not hitting, I'm worried about the wrong things. Because you remember the night before he hit the three three homers, mm -hmm. he struck out to end the game. I believe with the bases loaded. I think with the bases loaded, he struck out. Right. And the next day, and you after the game, you guys said, oh, are you concerned about Bryce Harper? And I said, he's the least of my concern. Here's the thing, Michael. Everyone knows he's the best player on our team, right? I, I, I don't think that's I'm, I'm breaking any uh, big news here. He gets pitched differently than a lot of other people. And it, and sometimes when you're the best hitter on the team and they are pitching you different, you know, they're crowding him, uh, you know, then they're going soft away. I mean, it, it's – and look, I, I know they're trying to do that to all of them, but, you know, when you face Bryce Harper, right, the pitcher, the, you don't think the pitcher knows that's Bryce Harper? Sure. Holy gosh, this is Bryce Harper. He's got 300 plus home runs. He's got thousand runs scored. You know, oh my, you know, they're going to go after him a little harder than what they go after the rest of them, and that's just a fact. And if I worry about Bryce, I'm worried about the wrong dang thing. Because I guarantee you, by the end of the year, I guarantee you he's going to have 30 and, and 90 plus RBIs. Okay. Amen, you brother. That? Amen. I hear you. From yeah. your lips to upstairs. I, I agree like with it. you. All right, my friend, we thank you. Great to see you back in the booth. We'll check you tomorrow. John Crook joining Thanks, us Johnny. from the All ballpark. Right. Hey, let me tell you something. The power's here. It's just a matter of it coming out. Uh, again, it was early, and you see some of the numbers there. And we saw the power against the best record in the National League coming up, uh, coming in. The Pirates were 9-3 and three now, 9-4. and four. And you look at this lineup up and down. My goodness, seven hits, five runs batted in, and three home runs. And th that's a special night. I don't care who you are. Four for nine, those three guys, four for nine, three runs scored, and all five of the RBI for the Philadelphia Phillies. And to see that on a day when we're talking about getting the slug, Rob Thompson likes to call it the slug. He got in a little back and forth pregame with a reporter who asked, where the heck is it? He said, don't worry, it's coming. And guess what? Sometimes it takes a little while, and hopefully this will be emblematic of what the season will be like going forward. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what we oh, hope. This, this team has power. It's, it, there's just no question about it. They have not had a lot of extra base hits. I, I get it. Um, but this all came from the daycare guys. I mean, some of the big boys, Harper didn't hit a home run, Schwarber didn't hit a home run, Turner didn't hit a home run. But the but these, these youngsters, they're good players. They're good major league players, and uh, I, this makes this lineup so deep when these guys can contribute the way they, they did tonight and will during the course of this season. And that's one of the reasons why people have been talking about how good this ball club is because – it is that good. It just had, they haven't they haven't swung the bats yet, and they it started sort of in spring training. They hadn't gotten it going, but hey, it's a long season. I know people talk about it all the time. These boys can hit, and they showed that they can tonight. Uh, he's as good a a left-hander as there is in baseball, in my opinion, and he's he's so fun to watch. You see the numbers: six innings pitched, just two hits and two walks, and his WHIP numbers are. Spectacular! Not too many base runners on. Walks, hits, to innings pitched. You want that low, and it is. And you see 4.09 ERA coming into tonight and a 2.65 going out. And you asked John Crockett and just mentioned, but expand on where he is in the 
echelon of top left-handed pitchers in baseball. Well, if you look at all these guys, I mean, uh, I, you know, Max Fried is not throwing all that well for Atlanta. Um, there's a lot of very Rodon is throwing a little bit better for for the for New York. Um, I don't know how Snell is going to end up pitching uh, during the course of this season over there in San Francisco. He signed late, but I mean, this guy can pitch now, and and the fact that he got that entire spring training without any issues at all. It's the first time he had a full spring training in like a couple, two or three years. And I think that put him, made him ready. And it got him physically ready and wasn't working behind the eight ball. And you're seeing the results of it right now. Yeah. And what we really love is his swag. He's got the swag. Yeah, he does. Here's Rob Thompson on a great win tonight. Rob, uh, what was key for, for Ranger tonight, number one, number two? How encouraging is it to have him have that kind of start for him? Of the year. Yeah, I, th I thought he was outstanding. I mean, got ahead. Uh, I think he had eight o two counts on on hitters, driving the fastball in on on the right handers. And, uh, all his stuff was working. He just added and subtracted all night, and uh, I thought he was outstanding. How good is it to see some slug from the lineup, particularly Bohm and Stoddard? Yeah. Hitting the ball hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of our game, and we really haven't had it much this year, and so hopefully that continues. You know, it, it's going to come and go just like everything else, but um, but it was good to see some guys hit the ball at the ballpark. What have you seen from Harp in the last few games? Just timing. You know, it's, it, that's what it always is with him, and um, but he, he'll be fine. He feels fine physically. Oh, yeah. Rob, Marte came in and struck out the side in the seven. How comfortable are you with him coming into close games and high leverage spots? Very. Um, I've always thought he's had great stuff. Uh, it was just about throwing strikes, trusting his stuff, and going after hitters, attacking. And um, he's been doing that really all through spring training, uh, all through the start of the year. And when he does that, he's got the stuff to get hitters out. Oh sure, sure. You, know, you take the first inning, first two guys get on. Harper hits a rocket at the shortstop. JT hits a rocket at the, and that's kind of what we've been going through a little bit. But, um, but yeah, I, I think once guys put the ball in the seats, it's kind of like, okay, here we go. Today with the homers and key times especially. How big was that tonight? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, I had a really good arm on the other side, and. Uh, it was it was big for us to step up tonight and just get that lead for Ranger. Ranger was dealing, so we needed to get him some runs. Do you think it was out when he hit it? Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. He um, was out now. <laughs> yeah, I'm very thankful. Very thankful, but uh, yeah, no, not not a chance. <clears throat> what have you liked about your at bats the first two weeks here? Um, I just like I, I like I like where I'm aggressive where I want to be where I where I choose to be. Um, you know, it's a toss up what you're gonna get every night out there at the plate, uh, but uh. Just being aggressive when I think when when I get the pitch I like. Rob reward I guess I know, reward is just the right word, but moved you up in the lineup the other day because you've been hitting the ball so well. What does that mean to you? Um, I mean it, it means a lot to me. You know, I, I I love I love to get at bats and I feel like in the five ball you get a couple extra ones throughout the year. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna keep saying this though. We got dudes and dogs on dogs that that show up and show out every night. So wherever wherever Rob puts us, we're we're trying to go. We're ready to go. What's been the mindset of the uh, the dudes and the dogs as the slug has not been there the first 12 games of the season? <laughs> Sorry, what, what was the question? And, and with, with the slug not really, you know, not hitting for power really the first 12 games of the season, what, what have you guys been kind of talking about? Um, uh, we're, not, we're not really worrying too, too much about that. We're just trying to win some ball games. Right now we're above 500, and uh, we like to keep it that way. But, uh, yeah, the slug will come. With the lineup we have, it's just a matter of time. How do you feel this year compared to past year's uh, of how you play, you seem to be going to another level at, at least so far at the start of this year. Um, really, just taking it day by day. I mean, I'm enjoying the way that it's been this year so far. Uh, but uh, we got we got to keep it that way, and we got to stay stubborn to the work, approach, and all the above. So yeah, very happy. But we just got to keep that going. Do you feel like you're you're getting better or becoming a more complete player? Uh, I believe so. That's just with experience and just more reps out there. Another season under the belt, and uh, you know. Hopefully it just continues to 
grow on the same track. When you talked about being aggressive in the ways you want to be, how much is using the whole field a part of that? That's that's the biggest part, in my opinion. Uh, just trying to find as many holes as you can out there. It's, the defense is good every day, no matter who you're playing. So it's it's hard to find holes out there. But uh, hey, you know, putting the ball to left field just opens up a lot more opportunity. Squeaking the ball through the infield, you know, maybe the shifts, having the shortstop over a little bit. You never know. So I just think just really staying the left field just helps me back the ball up, really. Was it good to see Bowman stop for their first one? Yeah, you know, that, that was awesome. Uh, I mean, those guys rake. So uh, like I said, it's just a matter of time before everyone gets going. And uh, I'm excited. City Connect debut tomorrow. What do you think of the New Jerseys? I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we're all excited to, to put them on in, in front of our fans, in front of our city. So it's uh, it's, it's going to be electric. No pun intended. I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's early, obviously, but to get above 500, what does that mean for you guys? Uh, it's it's big, just because we you know we opened up with Atlanta and and they gave it to us two games at home and that wasn't cool. So it was uh, it's, it's good for us to come back, have a good road series, and uh, open up this home stand with a win. Really big.